Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome back to my channel. I am doing things a little backward today. I'm doing a um, on the double, double ended hook pattern here. And I'm already part of the way through. I was kind of playing, designing along. What should I do? What should I do? And I liked this section the best. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. And then I'm going to fasten off and start from the beginning so that you can start along with me. But what I'm doing here is basically Tunisian double crochet knitwise. So I'm chaining one to start the row. I'm going to yarn over and insert the hook from the front to the back through the stitches as if to double crochet. See, I've split that loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. So not completing the double crochet, but leaving it in place. And I'll do this all the way across. Yarn over and then split, stabbing it knitwise from the front to the back, grabbing the yarn, pulling up a loop, yarning over and pull through just two, leaving the last loop remaining. So this is a very fun, <laughs> relaxing and valuable use of our time. It's a very rhythmic pattern. It's similar to Tunisian crochet, of course, by us loading up the loops on the hook and using a lot of the same terminology and stitches. So we're doing basically Tunisian double crochet knitwise in each stitch across, leaving the last loop on the hook each time. Okay. And I am using today paint box yarns. And this one that the label is already off is Willow. I think it's called Daily. It's a wool yarn, superwash wool yarn. This one is an acrylic, but I liked the colors together. So I am going to go ahead and use them for my swatch. I would not use a wool, even a superwash wool and an acrylic in the same project in general because they might wash differently or at different rates, um, they may wash differently. So I don't usually mix fibers, but because I enjoyed these colors, I did. <laughs> so go with the flow. So as we are nearing the end of the row of Tunisian double crochet knitwise, in the final vertical bar, I will go ahead and do the last Tunisian double crochet in the last two bars of the side. See the side there? Grabbing two bars, pulling up a loop, yarning over, pull through two loops on the hook and leave it there. So here we are with the forward pass, but now with Tunisian crochet, we would normally just continue by yarning over and pulling through all the loops on the hook and we are going to do that but guess what we're going to do it on the other end of the hook so when you've loaded up your hook with loops that tells you then it is time to slide the stitches to the other end of the hook and turn the work and it doesn't really matter which way you turn i just turned this way because it kept my yarn from getting tangled so that's the reason i chose um, to turn that direction now my other color is dangling here, just like I've just left this light pink dangling over here. I'm now going to pick up the mulberry purple, yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook all the way across. So simple, simple, simple. You totally can do this, especially if you've seen my other Tunisian videos. You know I have a ton of them on my channel. So at the end of the video, I will put a link to Tunisian um, crochet for you. But I do have at least one other double ended crochet uh, tutorial up and you can follow that. And if you're interested in double ended crochet, I will try and do more of that. So please leave a uh, comment below after you've liked and subscribed. <laughs> leave a comment whether or not you'd like more crochet on the double um, pattern so I can accommodate you if necessary. So we're gonna chain one. Again, it, it accommodates for the height of the double crochet. Yarn over and knitwise 
That's what we're doing today, splitting those two loops, yarning over and pulling through two loops on the hook. And again, we will do this all the way across. So yarn over, insert as if to knit wise, double crochet by yarning over, pulling through the loop, yarning over and pulling through two loops on the hook, leaving the last loop there. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, leaving the last loop remaining. So it's kind of like a cluster or um, a crochet two together, but we're not doing that. We're just placing one half of the stitch, an incomplete stitch, in each stitch across and knit wise is the method of where we're placing the hook so we could be doing it a multiple of different ways you can check out my other tunisian uh, tutorials also to see the different placements of the stitches whether it be knit wise purl wise to, as if to tunisian simple stitch as if to full stitch, as if to, <laughs> oh, I can't even think of any more, but there's plenty of other options of where to insert the hook. Today we are inserting the hook knit wise. So we are doing a bunch. I'm allowing these stitches to con congregate, accumulate here in my hand. I can also let them slide down the hook and hold on to the hook like this, that is fine also. And as we get the last one, remember to get at least two bars of a final stitch on the side there, okay? Now remember, is it time to turn? It is, because I have the hook loaded up with loops. I'm gonna let the purple drop. I'm gonna slide the stitches down to the other end of the hook and then I will turn and use this end of the hook, picking up the pink and yarning over, pulling through one, yarning over and pulling through two all the way across. Then let's go ahead and bind off this pattern and start over from the beginning so that you can see just how it is done. So feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Tell me what you like about crochet and what you would like to see more of. Check out my playlist for Tunisian, Tunisian lace, right-handed, left-handed, motifs, finishing, edgings. Oh, you name it. It's a little, little bit of everything on full patterns, a little bit of everything. So then we can tension up just a little bit, but we want to make sure not to pull too tight. But this top part is how the pattern is looking with this Tunisian on the double, double crochet knit wise. So this one appears to be more dominantly the pink. This side appears perhaps more dominantly the purple. I don't know, you tell me. Maybe it's the other way around, how it looks to your eye. That's the front and the back. Okay, to finish off, I would just do things in pattern always as much as possible. So what I would do here in to finish off in, in pattern is to chain one and double crochet knit wise in each stitch across, finishing the stitches this time. So finishing double crochets all the way across is the most similar finished off stitch that we can do um, to what we had been doing. So we're still doing knit wise, splitting those two purple strands, working from front to back, and we're just double crocheting across. And then we will, well, you can do this. You can do this all the way across. I might as well just go ahead and stop here and uh, put that down and pick up some new yarn. So let's pick up two more colors, shall we? Crazy, crazy colors. What crazy colors do I want? Okay, these are, this is Brava Worsted. You can find the affiliate links below, in the description below of all the videos. Um, I love to use the Brava Worsted in the paint box yarns, especially because they're just great workhorse yars, yarns. They're great for everything. So I am going to put a slip knot on my hook and you can pull that apart a little bit. 
you can, with this pattern, chain any number of stitches. It can be even, it can be odd, that is okay. Let's just do a small swatch so you can see how it gets started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's call ten enough. We're going to just uh, do a traditional pull up in the back bar, back ridge, back loop, back chain of each chain across. So we're using that back bar. Love that because it leaves a nice pretty edge on the bottom, ready for an edging perhaps or seaming, whatever. So that's why I love to use the back bar, back ridge, back bump as much as possible. And then here we would um, slide the stitches to the other end of the hook because the hook is now loaded up with stitches. We would turn, and look, I picked purple again. I must have purple on the brain. So I am going to place a slip knot, and this is the first loop, okay? That's the first loop. So when you yarn over, and pull through one loop on the hook, that's the one loop on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, all the way across. Okay, then we will, since we dropped the green, we will leave the green there. We will chain one because double crochets are taller than other stitches so that we have the right gauge. Tension that just a little bit, holding it in place, chain one double crochet knitwise through the green bars there. Yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert in the next one knitwise, and we will do this all the way across. So much fun. Tunisian crochet is very extremely relaxing. I especially love the return pass. And so by definition, the double-ended crochet or crochet on the double is also very relaxing for that reason. And really, if you're careful which way you turn, your yarn really does not get tangled. Okay, pulling up a loop in that last stitch. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten loops on the hook. We are good to go. Now the hook is loaded up with loops, so we are sliding it down to the other end and turn. Pick up the dropped color from before. We have dropped the purple. Picked up the green here, holding it along, floating it along the side. Yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook all the way across. What do you think? Do you have any double-ended crochet hooks at home that you're ready to get started on this perhaps? Chain one to make a little bit of a taller first stitch and double crochet knitwise, just like we did before. Do you need to invest in some double ended hooks? They're a lot of fun. When you have the double ended or the, um, I'm sorry, the interchangeable Tunisian hook sets, the ones that have the flexible cable in the middle, you can, by definition, just put another hook on the other end of the cable and that then it becomes a double-ended hook. Although if you do not have two hooks of the same size, then you might end up with a one size hook on one end of the cable and a different size hook on the other. So when the um, when we're loaded up with stitches, two, four, six, eight, ten, we're gonna slide them down to the other end of the hook and turn. Just taking care not to twist my yarns together. So now I have dropped the green and I'll pick up the purple. But now you know the rest of the story, <laughs> as Paul Harvey used to say. So I told you the end of the story first, and now you have the beginning of the story. So you can now make your double crochet on the double masterpiece for yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on the double crochet on the double um, stitch pattern. And I will see you in the next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and check out this other double crochet, uh, double ended crochet hook and other Tunisian patterns.